Let's see if we can watch that line. That's your indication. Look at that. You see that? Time that bad boy hits the water. That's why you want to take your kids to do this. That's why you want to take your kids. Okay, this is your boy Cam, AKA stack them up, AKA get back, AKA don't have to search no more. This is your boy Cam coming into you at the crappy hole. Listen, you can see the backyard. Let me show you the backyard of the house over there. Okay, as I was coming in, this is really going to trip you guys out. I just got finished doing some crappie fishing, but right now, my big thing right now is catching shell crackers and brim. And in this episode, in this episode right here, Look, you can smell it. Let me let me tell you guys this. When you go out fishing and you're hunting for fish, especially this time of the year, which is when the panfish, the shell crackers, aka red ear, or the big brim, the big bull brim, are bedding, use your nose, use your eyes. You guys always look at my videos, you can see that I have on polarized glasses. I rarely ever leave out with my polarized glasses, except for this time of the year, you will never ever catch me without them, okay? Now, let me show you guys this. I just got off the boat, me and my buddy were catching crappie, and I turned around, and we were coming back into the mouth of the cove, and guys, we found a bed that is about 30 feet by 20 feet of shell crackers. You can see the markers out there. You see those yellow markers? I thought we had covered the whole bed, but apparently we didn't. They stretch all the way down here. You can actually see them. You can see the bed. Let me see if I can put you guys through my, my polarized shades. You've heard people talk about that when you wear certain glasses, you can actually see. I don't know if you guys can see the dark spots. Okay, you can see the bottom of the lake. It's only about 13 inches deep. Okay, and then you see a dark area. That is the shell crackers, a.k.a. brim, fanning their bed. Okay, of course you guys can see my little ducks. I feed these rascals all the time. Okay, that's what it looks like without the polarized shades. That's what it looks like with the polarized shades. You can actually see that dark area. But here's the, here's, here's the most important part. You can smell them. It's so pungent. When you have a real big bed, it'll make your head swim because it's so pungent. Okay, you just have to use everything that was given to you. But this is what we're going to do. Number one, I've had a lot of people ask me, well, Cam, we need a better look at your poles and your, and your rod and reels. There's so many things on there, guys, that I can't list everything. What I'm gonna do is cover exactly what I'll be using today. I'm using the bronze, which is our entry level, which is a very, very solid reel. And it's for me, all of my hardware guys, it's all about the ball bearings. My bronze has three ball bearings. My silver has six. My gold has nine. And my platinum has 11. And my signature series, which is coming out, will also have 11, okay? I'm going to show them to you real quick, and then we're going to get on the boat, and we're going to catch some of these shell crackers. And then I'm going to go right down the street to the cousin's house, and I'm going to catch some big bull brim, all right? Sit back, relax, do what you do. You know how we get down. Don't act brand new on this show. And hold tight. Let me show you the hardware I'm going to be using, plus my nasty Ben mental hooks in a blood, blood deadly red, all right? Let's see if we can find the action. And all I do is just watch the line on top of the water, just like that. That's all it takes. Look at that. Let me turn you guys. That's all it takes. These are, these are shell crackers, okay? I'm going to give you guys a real quick tutorial on the difference between a shell cracker and a big bull brim. Let me pull you down. Man, look at the size of this shell cracker. Let me turn around so you guys can see me. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't take long. Doesn't take long at all. Let me show you that hook set so you guys can see it. Okay, we play no games down here in Thump City, Georgia. You see how when you touch them, those spikes go up? And let me tell you something, they will hit you. They'll hit you very quickly. See, I use that long shank hook because I get my hook back real quick. Most of you guys take those rascals and you just get the pliers and rip the, rip the insides out. I don't do that. That is a shell cracker, AKA red ear. Okay, you'll see that. I'm, I'm not on a meat run today. I'm catching and releasing, so we're gonna let this rascal go. There you go. Bingo. A little bit further than what we wanted, but let's see what happens. There he is. There he is. There he is, guys. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. Look at that shell crack. Good night. Guys, you talking about some good eating? Okay, this is what I want you to do real quick, because it's very, very important. 
I want you to get a real good look at the shell cracker because we're getting ready to go down the street now to take a look at his cousins. Let me get this rascal off of here. I always laugh at myself because on video I'm turning my lips. Fantastic. That's a shell cracker. Okay? Remember the distinctive marks. You see he's more gold and green with that red ear and his eyes are fire red. Okay? I want you guys to see that really, really good. All right? Let's get a hold of one more. Sometimes I don't want to leave myself. Okay? These are my micro lights. This is the one that I'll be using today, the bronze series, and you guys will hear me talk about it often about the ball bearings. Because the more ball bearings you have, the longer your reel will last, the smoother your reel will be for you. Okay? It's, it's, it's incredible. I designed these rod and reels, guys, to throw light tackle. Okay? Your 132nd jig, your uh, 116th, your 1/8th. Those are the, are the jigs that you see me predominantly fishing with. And today, when we get on the water, let me tell you this. I'll just be throwing a hook and a red wiggler, a worm. Okay? A live worm. And you guys, you, you'll see me doing that. Okay, let me get back to what, I'm, what, I'm, what I was saying. These, this is my silver edition. Okay, you can see that it too is a micro light. Okay, I want to put that up there so you guys can see that. My cam's nasty stick. This one right here has six ball bearings. Okay, it's right or left. And I got that high-vis crappy line on there. That's very important for you. That's all you'll see me use is that crappy line. That's all I'll use. You can see the Portuguese cork handle. We, we import this, this cork from Portugal, okay, which it acts as a natural conductor. That's why you see rod and reels with cork on it, okay? Um, the Fuji reel seat is designed to be tough for you guys. I have a buddy that fishes with me, and I, I sat there and counted. He dropped my rod and reel in the river at least two dozen times, totally submerged it. One time he even lost it. So. Uh, you'll see me, I've already filmed episodes of me using the silver, okay, and this one you haven't seen me use yet. This is our gold edition, okay, which is, you can see it on here, it's a micro light as well. All of, 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 of my um, shafts, my rods, are 100% carbon fiber, okay, they're carbon blanks, that's what we start with, and all of mine are hand rolled, all of my rods. My, my reels are built from the ground up. And again, this is a micro light, okay? And the top is my Platinum Edition. You guys have seen me use my Platinum Edition on my, on my last Shell Cracker video, okay? Again, it's a micro light. The pole is 6'2", okay? And my Cam Signature Series, which I do not have right here with me, it is 6'6", six, six, all right? This is the Platinum Edition. 10, 10 plus one ball bearings, and that one ball bearing goes right here to stop the reel from going backwards. Okay, it locks it. Okay, the more ball bearings you have, the smoother your reel is going to be. If you get a chance, go look on your boat, go look inside the house in the basement or the garage, look at your, your spinning reels, see how many ball bearings you have. And I remember a couple of people dragged me because I was last time I was talking about those zip codes. Listen, I grew up on zip codes. Okay, but sometimes guys, you want to, you, you play harder, so you need better equipment. That's all that I, I was saying about zip codes. So nevertheless, this is your boy Cam. Let's go ahead and let's get on the water. All right, let's pull up to another spot. And let me say this to you. I spotted this one yesterday, not by the smell, because this is a brim bed. And remember, these guys are first cousins. Sometimes you'll even catch them um, breeding in the same bed. But I spotted these by sight, okay? I look for the same type of bed that I look for when I'm looking for shell crackers, exact same thing. So let me get my worm together. Let me get ready to drop this anchor. Let's see if I can turn this boat a little bit. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see this side over here, this, this bed over here. Let me see if I can use my shades again so you guys can see. See, you can see dark circles. You see light area, and then all of a sudden it becomes dark. That's a bed, okay? That's a bed. Let's see if I can throw over there real quick, see if we can have some luck. Let me turn you just a little bit. There you go. And remember, when you throw, uh oh just let that line just relax on top of the water. That's how you tell. Watch that line. You'll see it jump. Matter of fact, it already jumped. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's all it takes. Just that little bit right there. This is a bull brim. 
There you go. We got him hog tied. Let me turn you around a little bit. There you go. This is another brim. Back up a little bit. There you go. You see, you see his sperm? That's why they're in there. That's what you smell whenever you're riding around and you spot a bed. This is a brim. Okay? You can see they're more purple color than anything. You can see they call them sunfish because their belly is gold. Okay? And they call them bluegills, bluegill. Their eyes are not as red as that shell cracker. Okay? Let's let him go because we're not on a meat run today. Bingo. Look at there he is. I didn't even know that rascal was even on. I didn't even know this rascal was even on, guys. Good night. I didn't even know this rascal was even on. Fantastic. Let me turn you around just a little bit. Now let me show you real quick his color before it changes. See how gold he is? See how gold? The longer I hold him out of water, that's a nice bluegill there. The longer I hold him out of water, he's going to start to turn dark. Dark color. Let me show it to you. That's why you call this a bluegill. Boy, them rascals right there will stick you big time. Okay? You can see that big hump right here? That's a bluegill. It's a bull bluegill. Or AKA Brim. Now remember, they're first cousins. Boy, they swallowed that one out hook. <laughs> Hold still, big boy. I'm going to get you out. That long shank. That bad boy still. I don't even know how you guys fish with a number two or number four size hook. Can't do that. I'm hoping I can get this back real quick without hurting him. Bingo. He's bleeding real quick. Let's let it go. Both of them are first cousins to each other. All right? And this is what I was using again. That nasty bend. You can see the bend in that hook. Mental hook. All right? You see that tip that's barbed? Whew. Ugly. So I'm using a one out. If you prefer to use a number two, I have a number two. If you prefer to use, uh, you want gold, you can use gold. Whichever one you prefer to do. Listen, you know me. It's your boy Cam. This is the crappy hole, a.k.a. shell cracker, a.k.a. bluegill, a.k.a. brim hole, as of right now. Thank you guys so much. And if you like the content that you see, share it with some of your friends. Share it with some of your family members. And don't forget, right below that video, it takes you three seconds. Click that red button that says subscribe. When you click that button, you'll see a bell that comes up. Click that button to make sure that you get all of my future episodes that are coming out. You don't want to miss any of them because we're going back to, to the crappy hole eventually. All right. Thanks, guys. Everybody have a good day. Come join me again sometime. All right. Back in that same bed. Uh-oh. Threw my worm off. Threw my worm totally off. Look. Threw my worm off. He still caught this little rascal. Boy, these rascals are so feisty. He jumped clean out the water. Little old rascal.